Hello, everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and publish a REST web service using the Denodo server. I have an instance that's up and running, uh, so I'm going to connect to it and walk you through the steps. So this is my Denodo instance running in AWS Cloud. And uh, you, what you're seeing is the design studio, which is the UI interface to your Denodo server. I'm going to log in and okay once you log in here you see the interface where there is a database that's already been created for test purposes in this i have connections to two data sources mysql uh, aws aurora and aws redshift there are certain objects that i have brought in uh, like the orders region nation tables that are under my Redshift instance and the customer data that's coming from the MySQL instance. I have created a, a joint view of the customers and orders that connects the customers and the orders table to show me all the orders that belong to a customer with the customer ID of one, all right? So if we execute this, I just want to show you quickly. This is all my data that's available in the join table, around six rows as such. So what we're going to do is we're going to expose this data as a service by creating a REST web service. And, and there is benefits to it uh, when we create the web service. So we'll walk through that as, as those as well. So here I have the view created, I would say new data service, REST web service. So once the view is created, you can expose that data as a service and here's how you do it. Once, so here it shows me the resource, which is my source data that I want to expose as a service, as an API. Under settings, there's not much. You could leave most of that as default. No, I'm going to make a minor update here on the authentication. Uh, it's going to be HTTP basic with VDP. You could leave that as default, but this allows me to expose this. Uh, advanced, uh, again, you can leave most of this as default and there's metadata. So once I created this web service, uh, I'm going to save it. Once it's saved, it says it's not deployed, as you can see here. So the next step is to deploy this web service. And once I deploy it, it will automatically create an endpoint. And let's give it a few seconds. So there it is. That's my service. Everything is ready. And it's been published as a web service. Now here, if you go to tools, and look at web service container. This is where you can find the web service. So here I need to pick my database, which is another prof DB. Here you can see the customer's order view rest service that's been deployed. And here's the path to it. When I click on it, I can see the view. And when I click, it brings me back the data. As you can see here, this is the URL. So if you open this URL, into a different browser. Uh, let's see if I can create one. And this is how the users can access this as an API, as a standalone API. When I clear run it, it should bring back the data that users can access. So with that, it shows you how to create a REST API using the the node of service. Here you can see the information on the data service that was created. You can see that object right under this database here. All right, so with that, we can wrap up. Uh, just a few closing comments here. Um, you know, there's, there's quite a few use cases, you know, uh, for the APIs where when an app needs to combine data from multiple sources, you can build that API. Application needs 
a simpler RESTful interface to data instead of JDBC, ODBC. So that's another scenario. Uh, a lot of the cloud data sources could be difficult to access, so you can expose that data, as I showed you, coming from different sources. Uh, so those are some of the key benefits. Uh, we can also use this API to expose the tables, cutting down on the overhead and the complexity. As you can see, it was easy. Uh, you could create this API in five minutes, less than five minutes. Uh, use an API to circumvent the native APIs, so you can put filters uh, and other formatting on top of it. So with that, thanks for watching. See you next time.